AI is currently taking the world by storm, and with powerful chatbots that have access to a wealth of information, we can push AI further than it's ever been pushed before. In this series, my new account is completely guided by ChatGPT. We're conquering free-to-play, but who knows where we'll end up. This is AI Adventures. We are starting today with the 10th anniversary birthday event, which I highly encourage you all go do. It's still available in-game now. You get some cool rewards for it, some cool cosmetics, and of course, it was very nostalgic. Essentially, it's a bake-off between famous characters throughout Gillenor, and the candles are lit by none other than Elvarg herself. Obviously, on my account, I haven't done Dragon Slayer. Elvarg is alive and well. However, on my main when I did it, it was Alvarg, uh, Elvarg's relative, which is absolutely hilarious. But yeah, we asked the chat if these kinds of holiday events are worth doing. Of course they are. Uh, and so we blitzed through it and got some cool rewards for the bank. If you're new here, welcome to the series. This account's progress is guided by ChatGPT. And we're ticking off our first 30 goals as a free-to-play account before we hit members content, which are listed in the description. If you enjoy the content, like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes as well as my other series. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Let's get straight into today's video. We've got a lot of progress. Now on the agenda for today is to complete the remaining quests on our list that was recommended for the first five quests to complete. We've already completed Cook's Assistant and so today we'll be aiming for Doric's Quest, Restless Ghost and the Knight's Sword Quest. I thought I'd start with Doric's Quest and get my mining level to 15 so we could mine the iron required for the quest. So I got straight underway with the mining and here you see us getting level 2. And so upon asking how we train our mining, we were sent, perhaps expectedly, to the Lumbridge Swamp Mine, where a lot of fresh accounts start. And I was quite thankful because we didn't have to track all the way back to the bank. Instead, we just had to mine copper and tin and then drop it on the ground and repeat the process. All the way to 15 mining. So here is that journey. In case you missed it in the chat box too, we hit 100 total level with that mining level. And the GZs come pouring in, the first one being from myself. <laughs> but more importantly, there's three mining. More important than that, four mining. Slightly more important, five mining. And a bit more importance, because that's six mining. Even more important still, that is seven mining. And just when you thought it couldn't get more important, eight mining. And even still, nine mining. And then we drop all our ores, because we don't need them. But 10 mining, that's pretty important. So is 11 mining and 12 mining. And you know what? Not to discount 13 mining, that's pretty important as well. As is 14 mining. And you know what? The most important level, at least in this grind arguably, is 15 mining because now we can mine iron for Doric's quest. Now I mentioned in the last episode that, you know, we don't have to do the goals one at a time or one by one, you know, in the correct order or anything like that. We just want to complete them all. Um, especially when we set sort of a group of goals, like ten of them. And so while we're in the area, why don't we talk to Father Eric from the Lumbridge Church and do the Restless Ghost Quest, or at least start it. Recommended combat level of ten. No, I don't think we'll be doing that. So basically, old father here, he's got a ghost haunting his graveyard. And he doesn't know why. But he sends us to another father that lives out in the swamp. And, uh... Yeah, to maybe get some help. To maybe get some help of how to deal with this here ghost. Because obviously there's no way to communicate with the ghost. Or is there? So we find Father Ernie in his little shack out in Lumbridge Swamp. Tell him that Father Eric's got a ghost haunting his graveyard. Doesn't know what to do about it. Father Ernie's like, oh, I just came here to meditate. Oh, that guy's a silly fool. Here, take this ghost speak amulet, which maybe he should have given him before he left, just in case something, uh, you know, came up. But either way, now we've got a beautiful new looking amulet that should let us talk to this ghost. So we return to the Lumbridge graveyard and open the coffin, and we indeed find the restless ghost. You can tell that he's uh, pretty shocked that, you know, we understand what he's saying, but, you know, we don't have time for your shock and horror champion. Um, why are you haunting this graveyard? And he said a warlock has come along and stolen his skull and it might be in the wizard's tower south of Draenor village, which, you know, we've been there before. So let's go and get his skull back for him. 
bypassing our mate Archmage Cedridor. We're not interested in you this time, mate. We have trekked into the basement of the Wizard's Tower and we find this creepy looking altar in the basement with, what do you know, a skull resting on it. So let's just go ahead and, I guess, take that skull for ourselves. It's also weird that there's a skeleton sitting in the corner with a sword in his hand. Why hasn't that skeleton been buried? Hmm. Oh, well, I guess we'll just take the skull back. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't know that was going to happen. Better run away. Hmm, nice one. It was around right here I decided that, you know, we could um hold on to this skull a little bit longer. Next time we go back to Lumbridge, we'll, we'll give him his skull back. He, he can deal with it a little bit longer. we just got to go help out Doric first. So I came to the Remington Mine south of Falador. Then we're going to mine ourselves six clay and two iron ore. I also made sure to prospect the rocks. Uh, in case you didn't know, a quote, quality of life, end quote, update uh, was voted on, where you'll no longer be able to prospect rocks. Instead of saying mine rocks as the option, it will then say whatever that rock is. So I presume this one, for example, would be mine clay rocks. So make sure you go and prospect a rock before you no longer can. And we are good to go help Doric. Now we have been on a bit of an adventure as you've seen, and here I am now live. We mined our copper and tin ore to 15 mining, started the Restless Ghost quest, trekked across Gelenor to reach Rimmington Mine where we obtained clay and iron ore, and we've made our way to Doric's Hut north of Falador. I'm about to start and complete my good friend's favourite quest, so-called favourite quest in Old School RuneScape. For the life of me, I don't know why, but you be the judge for yourself. This good friend is my group Iron Man partner in my Zaya Locked Iron Man. So if you haven't checked that series out, I guess I encourage you to go do so. Got big things coming up in that series for what's about to be Season 3. Let's see what Doric needs help with. G'day mate. We want to use your anvils to do a bit of smithing. They get enough work apparently, yeah right. He makes pickaxes. Well it would be nice if anyone else in Gillenor could make pickaxes mate, but apparently we cannot. If we could get him some more materials though, he might let us use them. And what? Let's see. Let's get him the materials. So he needs six clay, four copper ore and two iron ore. He could pay a little and let us use his anvils. Alright, he's given us a bronze pickaxe. Well, we already had one. And you know what? Funny thing, we already have those exact materials. Amazing. <laughs> can usually fit 28 things in my backpack and in a world full of quite literally limitless possibilities, a complete coincidence has occurred. Well, out of pure coincidence, despite definitely not knowing what you're about to request, I just so happen to have carried those exact items with me. In those exact quantities. Unbelievable scenes. Alright. Give those to him. There you are, mate. And there we go. <laughs> Doric's quest has been completed. One quest point, 1300 mining XP, 180 coins, and we can use his anvils. Not that we ever will. And it's pushed us up to 18 mining. How good. I always ask people to comment what you want us to ask ChatGPT, but you know what? What's your favourite quest? And why is it Doric's quest? Because that was just, I'm genuinely on the edge of my seat. That was unbelievable. Wow, wow. Just, I feel challenged. I feel like I've learned something. Amazing. And just like that, finishing Doric's quest, now we are here to talk to the Restless Ghost. Hello, mate. We found your skull, and now you can stop being a ghost. Chuck that in the coffin. Watch an amazing cutscene. See you, mate. Woo! And there we go. We have completed the Restless Ghost quest. Another quest point. Over 1,200 prayer XP, and we get to keep our beautiful Ghost Speak amulet. And that takes us to 11 prayer. How good is that? Awesome. 
122 total level now. That is four out of our initial five quests to do. Now it's off to do the Knight Sword. Now our fifth quest that's been recommended for us to do is the Knight Sword quest. And we know that to do that we're going to have to run past Ice Warriors and Ice Giants in order to obtain our Blue Right Orb. Since we're in the process of ticking off multiple goals at once, one of our other goals recommended for our first 10 goals is defeating a low level monster such as a goblin or a hill giant. So of course we can take on a goblin and kill it right now, but let, let's go big as well. Let's try and kill a hill giant. Okay, <laughs> and we have been recommended by killing at least 50 to 100 goblins before attempting to fight a hill giant. This will help <laughs> get us comfortable with combat mechanics. Yes, pointing and clicking is hard. Okay, let's let's get you know what. Let's go get our melee gear on, and let's slay some goblins. God, ChatGPT loves a bit of leather. So again, we've been recommended to wear our leather. Oh, and we have a genie. Well, that's awesome. Okay, we have an XP lamp to use on one of our stats. That's cool. All right. So the chat has said that you know obviously it's up to us what we want to achieve. Um, and you know what, I think because it's never going to give us a specific answer, I think what we should do, feel free to comment below if you have another idea, but I think if we get a genie random or a XP random of any kind, and we're working on a particular goal at that point, we should put the lamp towards that skill. So for example, the chat currently has said that we should take on goblins in order to train up to kill a hill giant and said we should be focusing on training our attack and strength. So I'm going to be using the lamp on attack because that's what we're currently working on when we got the random event. So lamp on attack, 100 XP, awesome. Oh, and with our first stab, 12 hit points. And there is 11 attack. Oh yeah, and there's 12 prayer, baby. And that's 12 uh, attack, baby. And that's 13 attack. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. Just when we've run out of food and we've slain 40 goblins on our journey, we have a beginner clue scroll. And it's our first one where we need specific items. We need a gold ring and a gold necklace. I thought, now I thought we were banned from using the Grand Exchange. On the last video, there was actually a comment saying that only highly botted items I can't trade without gaining the correct total levels and playtime on the account. Things like cow hides. But I was able to buy the two handed sword, and I bet we'll be able to buy a gold ring and a gold necklace for this clue scroll. Unless the chat wants me to get it by other means. Let's ask. By crafting them. Oh. Okay then. Well, crafting it is. And jewelry, gold ring, five crafting, gold necklace, six crafting. Excellent. All right. We need six crafting. How do we train our crafting from one to six? Okay. We can train crafting from one to six by making leather gloves. Okay, needle and thread. We can tan our cow hides in Al Karid. Woo! And from killing that cow, we just hit 13 hit points. Nice. Now, according to my calculations, we are going to need to make about 38 pairs of leather gloves. And yet again, we may die to a cow. Come on now. Yes, think. Thankfully, we did not die to the cow. We are going to have to go get some more food for this grind. Back with some shrimps, and we hit 14 attack. 15 attack. Think it's time for some strength training. Hitting pretty much primarily ones is a little grim. So there's four strength, five strength, six, 13 prayer, and seven strength. That's eight strength, baby. We're getting strong. And that's ten strength, baby. This will be our last cow, and then we're off to craft some hides. Okay, without even meaning to, we have a beautiful 50 cow hides. So let's take our 10 GP, cross through that gate to Al Karid, 
and start tanning them. Okay, we are back here in Sandy Al Karid. And for the uninitiated, this is Ellis. He is going to, for a small fee, tan our hides into leather. Okay, we have all of our leather. Now, if I look at the map here, we are here. If we look just over to the east, we have a crafting shop. And we can buy a needle and thread there. But, I better ask the chat. Ah, perfect. Yes. I think, I think things like this early on are just going to work out. Um... Especially since we're still in free-to-play, so the chat's limiting its knowledge to the free-to-play world, I guess. Uh, once we inform the chat that we are a member, I'm sure the options will open up. But Alcarid Crafting Shop is where it has suggested. So we are buying a needle and we'll just buy a few thread. It's, luckily we've got the cash. And there you go. After five, come six crafting we can now craft gold necklaces perfect all right we've got some leather left over for future purposes and now we have 38 pairs of leather gloves <laughs> look i guess we're not training at the moment so we'll just put one on as a little gesture to ourselves a nice sentiment that we crafted some leather gloves um now now, while the chat recommended us make our gold ring and our gold necklace, it recommended we get a gold bar from buying it from other players, which is absolutely fantastic news because, yes, I am quite sure, as I mentioned before, that only heavily botted items are unavailable to us at the current moment on the Grand Exchange. And I wonder if gold bars fit that bill. So let's head back to the Grand Exchange and see if we can purchase ourselves two gold bars. Excellent. Okay, we'll buy ourselves two gold bars. We've just got enough coin. Okay, and all our hard work is about to pay off. Craft ourselves a gold ring. Awesome. And craft ourselves a gold necklace. Nice. Alright, so we are doing a raspberry. Woohoo! And hello, Yuri. Can you stand me? Yeah, I can, champ. I don't mind you. I don't mind you. Spin at Flynn's Mace Shop. Well, we've been there before. Let's... Oh, now hike over to Falador. <laughs> okay, back at Flynn's Mace Shop. Hello, champion. Sorry, we're still not here to buy a mace. We are here to do a bit of a spin and talk to Yuri again. Actions have consequences. Indeed, they do. And our actions have led to a reward casket. Yes. Okay, second time we've cracked one in Flynn's May Shop. Last time it was an absolute abomination of a clue scroll. Can we get a good reward today? Come on. Uh, I mean... It's an upgrade because we're currently wearing a soft leather body. <laughs> And once we get 10 defense, we can wear it. So that's a plus. And I guess now we have some magic armor to wear when we finally train our magic. But that is so poor. <laughs> I want a unique reward. Oh, uh, well, what are you going to do? That That's cool. All right. Third beginner clue done. And 11 strength. Nice. Oh, God. Another beginner clue. <laughs> Oh, this is a this is a blessing and a curse. We've killed forty seven goblins according to Runelight. So let look. We were told to kill fifty. Let's just kill the fifty. Let's get the other three out of the way, and then we'll go finish this other beginner clue. Okay, to start this one, looks like we're trekking back to Varrock to the apothecary. Hello, champion, and thank you for the new clue. Oh, what an absolute legend this guy is. Oh, what an absolute legend. HD Cola. You are... You have just made my morning, mate. I love that. Don't get many people reaching out on the private chat. It's always open, so you're more than welcome to reach out and send me a message of... Preferably support whenever you'd like, uh, but yeah, shout out to HD Cola. Good luck on your group Iron Man journey, my friend. What a legend. 
Let's uh, let's let's get this clue scroll done for you. Cook, do you have a casket for us? Yes, you do. Thank you very much. It's because we're wearing matching hats. Flynn's May Shop has not been giving us good luck when it comes to the clue scrolls. So can we get a unique item from this one? <laughs> no, we cannot. We have a matching blue wizard hat from our last one, a matching short bow from our last one, and earth runes from our first one. So, yeah, great. Awesome. <laughs> That's four beginner clues done. Okay, well, we have we have trout as food. So, I think, you know, we've got high healing food relative for our HP, so that's nice. We can always try and flinch the hill giant and run and hide behind some rocks to heal up if it is uh, absolutely rolling us. This is our current gear setup. Uh, let's just double check and see what the chat thinks gear-wise we need to take on a hill giant at our stats. Okay, perfect. Alright, the chat has said that for our level, we could use a scimitar. So, preferably made of iron or steel. And we are 15 attack, so I think it's time to upgrade to a steel scimitar. That will definitely help over the bronze sword. In terms of armor, the best metal armor we can wear, such as iron, we just need the GP to buy it from the Grand Exchange. But I think if we... move some things around, I think indeed we can afford our iron armor. Okay, let's see what we can sell here. Blue wizard hat? Yes, indeed we can sell that. And that money alone is probably enough for our iron armor set. Fantastic. We'll sell our leather gloves. We'll sell our bronze dagger as well. No one wants them for two GP. Oh no, we worked hard for these. How about one GP? Come on, someone's got to be buying them. There we go. Bargain. One GP each per gloves. You'll be pretty warm wearing all those sets of gloves. Okay. It's all good. All recommended by the chat, of course. And it's time to buy our iron set of armor. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, are you ready for the biggest upgrade of the account so far? Oh, yes. How good is that? Another goal ticked off, baby. How good. Yes. Oh, exactly 200 GP. Giddy up. Oh, how good. Okay. Someone's made a nice little, uh, well, profit on that if they were merching, but... Another upgrade. This is massive. Oh, yes! Our first steel weaponry on the account, too. Oh, that hill giant is toast. 